Um, we are going to begin our discussion this lesson and talking about water pollution and the solutions to that problem. Um, and to start, we're going to have a very short and sweet lesson. And the essential question for this lesson is this. Why is fresh water a limited resource? So hopefully by the end of this lesson, you'll be able to answer this question. Now, water. Most of Earth's surface is covered by some form of water, right? Oceans, oceans they cover nearly three-fourths of the Earth's surface. Also, around the poles, we have vast sheets of ice, also water, right? Even from space, you can't even see a lot of parts of Earth because they're hidden behind clouds, which are made up of tiny water droplets. So there seems to be so much water, it's really hard to believe that it's a scarce resource in much of the world. And why is that? The reason water is scarce on Earth because most of it, almost 97% of it, is salt water, right? And salt water cannot be used for drinking or for watering crops which is primarily what it is needed for. So we can't use 97% of the water on Earth because that's salt water. Another thing to think of, right? So we have 3% left. 3% is fresh water. However, three-fourths of the fresh water on Earth is ice, right? Think about on a mountain. You have a bunch of snow. That's fresh water, but it's in ice form. Okay, so three quarters of the fresh water is ice. So let's do that math really quickly. What that means is that less than 1% of the water on earth is actually water that humans can use. So not a whole lot, right? We think about earth as like the water planet. We have tons of water, right? But um, a very small percentage of that is water that's actually usable by us. Okay, so that's a very important consideration to make. Now, there is a plus side to this. And the plus side, or the fortunate side, is that water is a renewable resource. Because remember, like you learned last year, um, it's continually moving between the atmosphere and the Earth's surface through the water cycle, right? So we know that this resource is being renewed okay so we're getting new water into the supply the problem is even though fresh water is renewable there's not always enough in a given place at a given time okay especially when we think of places that now have loads of people right loads of people but they weren't places that have the natural water to support these people a lot of these places actually have water shuttled in, right, through pipes and things like that from, from miles away because these places don't have the natural water resources. And what this does is it can lead to shortages in water, okay? And those water shortages, those occur when people use the water supply basically faster than the water cycle can replace it. And this is likely to happen during a drought when an area gets too little rain, right? There's not enough precipitation, so it's kind of cutting off that water cycle. Um, and many places, they never receive enough rain to meet their needs, and they have to have other methods to get water. So desert cities are, are very popular for this. For example, in Saudi Arabia, um, they get more than half of their fresh water by actually taking ocean water and removing the salt from it. And this, this is not a cheap process. It is very expensive, okay? But they really have no other option, and I guess they can afford it. So this is what makes water, fresh water, 
a limited resource. Remember water in and of itself? No, but fresh water, fresh water that can be used to water us as humans, water our pets, water the plants, the crops, all of those things. We need fresh water to do that and less than 1% of the water on earth can actually be used to do that. Now, that's it for this lesson. I told you, short and sweet. So what did we learn? We learned that water, how only 1% or less than 1% is available for us, how the water supply can renew, water cycle, remember, how water shortages happen, typically in places of drought, where there's, you know, not enough rainfall. And this all explains why fresh water is a limited resource. So that's it for this lesson. Hopefully you filled in your notes. If you have any questions, as always, please let me know. Take the time today, since you will have extra time, this didn't take long, to complete an assignment that you're missing if you are missing any, okay? Always, always make sure you're doing your tests and quizzes and make those up. All right, I'll see you in our next lesson.